Pam, ba -da -bam, bam, bam. G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, this week I'm doing something pretty crazy. I actually went and bought a second hand tray. So I'm getting rid of the tub. Um, I had a tub rack and a tent on it. I'm getting rid of that. Um, I'm putting a tray on it. I'm going a half canopy. I'm getting a fridge. I'm getting drawers. I can put my tools in it, my camping gear. And I'm really just gonna get set up for camping and getting away. So um, I'm pretty excited about it. It's gonna be a long process, so I'm gonna try and film the whole lot. Um, so far, all I've done is just cleaned the tray. I've used a chemical on it. Um, it's a professional alloy cleaner. You just spray it on, let it sit for five minutes, and you rinse it off. And then I've used Scotch-Brite or steel wire. I've rubbed that back with inox, um, and it's come up pretty good. It's come up really shiny, surprisingly. So now that I've got it all shiny and looking pretty good, um, the next step will be to actually shorten the tray. So it's an 1800 tray. It's a bit long for me, I like short trays, I think they look tough, so I'm going to take a slat out, a slat's 150 mil, so then it'll go down to a 1650 mil tray, um, which is sitting around sort of the length I want. So in order to do that, we have to remove this section here and um, expose the slat. I've already taken out all the bolts and the nuts. Um, there was two here as well, I've taken them out, and this is actually free now. I have this rear section on the back, it's a custom made sort of um, light holder with a pull out drawer. Um, so it was welded in the corner, I've just had to cut the welds, now it's sort of pulling out. As you can see, so just got to expose the slats. Instead of cutting all these welds here, I'm actually going to move this slat back to this one and remove this slat. Um, and that'll save me having to redo all these welds. So. All I've got to do is do it again on the next side and um, unbolt it from the bottom. So these ones here are just um, Phillips head with a 10 mil nut on the bottom. Right, so I'm replacing these because they're rusty and shit. Rightio, so I've got all the bolts and nuts out of the side, taken the headboard off, and now I've, all I've got to do is cut this little weld here. Let's expose it just enough. Rightio, so let's have a look under. So there is screws holding the slats in here. I'm gonna have to take, um, I'm gonna have to take probably three out. One, two, and three. Um, and yeah, let's do that now. Rightio, so I've removed the bolts from the bottom as well. Just up under here, out of these holes here. Um, obviously, they've got the two sides off. So I think she's ready to pull out, delete that one, and pop her back in. Let's see what happens. Yay, look at that. Bit of muddy water. A good idea to mark it with a pen where I need to cut the frame. Just drop out, like so. As you can see, that was pretty easy. I've now got to cut the frame to suit. Um, so I've marked the line, I'll just cut it straight off, as straight as I can cut it. Not very straight. Not very straight. Rightio, so I've cut it to length. I've test fit that the slat's actually gonna fit in here. What I'm gonna have to do is just clean this dirt out, fit it up, and then cut the sides down. Time to click her in. As you can see, that popped in quite easily. But now all I've got to do is screw it up at the bottom and then cut these down to length.
so because I've got this custom back section, it's actually fouling just on the inside here, so I've just got to cut a little groove in it, and it, um, it should fit up nice. That's one side done, I think it turned out pretty good. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna replace these bolts, so just a rinse and repeat on this side. So I've gotta put this headboard back on by myself. It's gonna be fun. The last step now is to just put the bolts in the side and do the nuts up. Um, that's these ones here. I'm using new hardware. Got them all laid out here, ready to go. So let's get into it. Good trick is if a bolt isn't quite lining up with the hole, you can just thread it in. It should sort of find its own way. managed to do it I've shortened her up 150 mil I think it looks bloody awesome it's come up really good I don't even honestly think I'll need to get that re-welded I'll just leave it as is just flap disc it back and yeah that looks really good I reckon can't wait to see it on the ute Ooh, I'm excited very excited all right, but I've still got a couple of other things to do, but this will be it for tonight. I've still got to clean up the mud guards, clean up the tray sides, make it all look pretty. And then obviously mounting it up, I'm hoping to do that this weekend. So um, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching and see you next time.